Hey y'all, it's Amber with Amber's Journey. Thank you guys so much for coming. I appreciate you watching. So today what we're gonna do is kind of a hodgepodge for my lined vertical. <clears throat> so the inspiration is this Blueberry Nights from Blueberry Boutique. Um, I had used this for another spread and I had quite a bit left over. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the rest of this up in my lined vertical. I have these here, which I might use, we'll see, I might use those. I have some icons and little um, like swatches. I have the deco here, which this is the main part that I wanted to use. I have some corner pieces and then I have um, some torn pieces here. And then <clears throat> there's no boxes in it. So what I decided to do is go through my stash um, and with Cute Cut Craft, they had a sale a while back where you could order certain sheets that would come from different kits that she had as grab bags. So I got some boxes here with purple and light blue. The light blue doesn't necessarily match um, with the blue that's in here, but it does kind of match like the butterfly and the, it's not perfect, but it'll work. <clears throat> the purple matches perfectly. I have some checklists, which I'm not sure if I'll use those or not. Um, and then I have this one. This matches quite a bit better with the purple. Um, so I might use these as well. And then the blue is definitely a match. So I pulled all these out. We'll see what I actually use out of it. <clears throat> and then I have my no spin stickers from Cute Cut Craft. I also got these in a grab bag. So I'm not quite sure if these are still available or not. I don't think so. Um, but these certainly are. So these are my planner page icons. So I have a cleaning one, birthday, dog. I just pulled them all out to kind of go along with anything that I might need. I love this one. I'm fine. It's fine. And then she's bandaged up. Um, canceled, rescheduled. This is fine. She's on fire. Working girl with laptop, working girl with phone, and then some work stickers. <clears throat> and then just in case I need some Pick me up on quotes. I did pull this sheet out, which is from Lupita Aid. Uh, I got this in Happy Mail, and I liked the purple and the blue down here, so I might use one of those in there as well. So let's go ahead and get to planning here. <clears throat> now this is going to be the last week of January, beginning of February here. So I'm going to go ahead and write the dates in. So this is the 30th. 31st, 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and 5th. First thing I'm going to do is look at my monthly to see what I have going on. Um, Some that's into February. I don't see anything of major interest going on. Now this um, will be the last day of the work month for me, so I definitely want to work. I definitely want to mark that. Make sure you guys can see what I'm doing here. <clears throat> there we go. All right. So let's see. Let's start with boxes. That's what I usually like to do and then layer on top. So <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a today sticker down on each day. So that way oh, that is so off, Amber. And this layout here is also from Cute Cut Craft if you're interested. It's her lined vertical layout. I really like it. Um, the one thing I'm finding trouble with is I really want to use this layout here. <clears throat> but since I do have my Hobonichi cousin now, um, I'm finding that I'm doing most of everything in that. Um, so I'm not really needing this layout, but this is the last week of it. So I wanted to use it accordingly. Um, I am filming this a little bit ahead of time too. So <clears throat> 
but yeah, I never thought I'd see the day where I had one planner that does it all for me and it's starting to look that way. So I'm trying to determine if I want to keep my HP or if I want to try something different and just go with one planner, um, which would be like crazy for me. <laughs> but um, I'm really liking it a lot and uh, I'm using it as my everyday carry. So, and then this is my home planner um, that sits on my desk. I don't carry this with me. This is a classic HP size. So, <clears throat> yeah, this, uh, this past week has been quite crazy. So, I haven't really been on top of my game with everything, so I apologize if anybody's been wondering what's going on. I uh, <clears throat> I was sick for a minute, and they couldn't figure out what was wrong with me. I finally went to um, the ER. They couldn't find anything wrong, and then after hours and hours of testing, they sent me home with no answer. And then... Um, they also um, told me to go follow up with my regular doctor, so I went to my regular woman's doctor because of the issues I was having, and they found out that I had an infection of some kind, and um, I'm better now. Uh, all I needed was, you know, antibiotics, but it just sucked because I went to the ER, and I don't have insurance, so $3,700 bill for them to tell me that they can't figure out what's wrong with me and not give me any kind of medication or anything. I spent $40 at my regular doctor and was told I had an infection and now I'm fine. It's just crazy to me how our healthcare system works um, and how crazy it can be at times. So <clears throat> I'm marking those down and then I do want to put a no spend. Let me use this one over here. But yeah, I'm better now. Um, that was last week. And then on Thursday, we had a death in the family, which kind of rocked me. And then my mom was in the hospital from Sunday to Wednesday. Um, she has something going on with her circulation, but they thought it was blood clot. So they're keeping her to keep an eye on her to make sure that's not what it was. Thankfully, it wasn't, but it still was pretty scary. So... Yeah, that's how my week's gone, so last week I didn't plan very much, and my planners, it's kind of crazy. <clears throat> but yeah, so I'm back now, and everything's fine, and I'm very happy about that. Uh, my daughter has been sick on and off. My hubby's been sick on and off. It's just that season, I guess. So, just going through and rolling through everything, right? All right, so let's go ahead and get some of this down. I really like these torn pieces. So, I'm gonna put that up here. Oh, that's off. No, don't tear. And the paper. All right, I guess it's, I guess it's down. All right, um, and then I'm gonna put this one down here. All right. I really like this this uh, kit. I didn't think I would. I'm not like a huge like blueberry in general fan, but this was, this came out really nice. Um, so let's go ahead and lay some of these down. Let's 
going to mark off the bottom here. I've been trying to figure out how I want to do this because I've been trying to keep track of my meals and things like that. And um, I'm debating on how I want to do that because after this layout here, this is the end of the insert that I have for um, this And this is just a business card from Teal's Gold. I don't know where my washi card is, so I'm using that. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I'm trying to be focused. I'm trying to get back into being more organized. I have a lot of stuff coming up that I have to take care of. And I want to make sure I'm on top of it with all of it. So it's just uh, a little different than normal. I'm usually not a very busy person. I do have a lot of planning when it comes to work and like things at home, but whenever big things come up, oh, that's crooked. Um, kind of throws me off a little bit and I'm glad I have my planners because um, it helps me to keep everything organized and focused, make sure I'm getting everything done that I need to. So I just lifted up that box because I'm going to put this down underneath it. There we go. <clears throat> but yeah, whenever I saw this kit, I just had to get it. Like, it was just definitely one of those things where I looked at it and I was like, yeah, that's too cute, even though it's not my normal style. I really like this kit. Um, and you can find Blueberries Boutique on Etsy. <clears throat> if you use Turtle15, which is my friend's code, you can get 15% off um, on anything in the shop. Alright, and I think that's all I'm going to use from there for now because I still have all this deck out as well. Um, it's kind of like a New Year's kit, but I don't care. I like it. What can I layer this with? Let's layer it with this little blob. here on the sidebar. I like to uh, track my vitamins and my water and my skincare, like self-care kind of stuff. So that's what I'm going to use this for here. So we'll do vitamins, water, skincare. Because <clears throat> if not, I will forget. I'm really bad about it. Now I'm trying to see will these checklists fit on here. fit, but are they they're not going to be real productive with the way that layout is. <clears throat> so we're just going to leave that. Save that for another time. Let's go ahead and throw down some of this deco here. I really like these little push pins. And they match perfectly with the boxes even though they are not from the same company, which I think is great. And that's also why I liked um, having these boxes from Cute Cut Craft. I got them again as a grab bag, so it worked out great. And then you have like the little emotions, little planner girl. We'll do her on Saturday. That's usually when I do my planning. And then we 
you have these little strips. I'll put these across the top here. So how is everyone doing? Is there anything exciting going on? I love learning about like what other people have going on and I like hearing good news and things of that sort. I've been kind of a Debbie Downer lately. So if you have anything, um, you know, positive going on or any dreams or anything that's happening, um, let me know down in the comments. I'd love to read about what's going on good in your life and positive things that are happening around. which is kind of funny because this kind of goes with the cute cut craft one because um, if you look in the middle it has the little macaroons too which I think is funny I don't care if I covered up but don't forget and then I really like this flower so I want to put that down here layer it on this torn piece <clears throat> cup of coffee definitely need that for Monday or Tuesday beginning of the week so we'll put that there and then this beautiful butterfly I really like this a lot I'm going to put that down here on this torn piece I feel like it just goes and then we have like the X's and the blotches, which I'll probably save. And I'm going to save these for me to put in throughout the week as I am feeling all the things. <clears throat> Don't quit. If success was easy, everyone would be successful. I'm gonna put that down. Set that down at the bottom here. Keep myself motivated throughout the week. All right, so let's see where we're at. Looks good. Um, day off sticker. I'm going to put that up here because I am taking Tuesday off to take care of some business. Um, and then I have these little work icons with planner page. I'm going to set those down at the top here to mark the days that I'm working. I work Monday through Friday at my uh, office job and then I may be getting a second job back in the kitchen again if uh, anyone knows before COVID hit I was a cook um, a chef I have a culinary degree and when COVID hit it you know shut everything down I'm sure everybody knows that um, lost my job for quite a while and then even after COVID was lifted we were still having issues in the kitchen so um, I didn't get my job back right away, so I ended up in a office job, um, kind of like a for now kind of thing because I needed a job, and I ended up loving it, and I love the people there, and I make decent money, so <clears throat> I've just kind of hung around. Um, so I think I'm going to put some of these around these boxes just for the fun of it. when else I would use these so I want to use them up while I have them and they go well. I should probably put a few more boxes down. I really don't have a whole lot going on but I want to have it a little more filled. I like to have some spots to write in but it doesn't necessarily have to be um, 
you know, anything drastic. So why don't we do this? We'll frame some of the lists. So that way we can use up this whole page. I love the feeling of having a finished page. All right, so that page is finished. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna leave it open the rest of the way there. Um, Maybe stick one more box up here on Sunday. Let's see if I can get these cookies up. I don't think I'll be able to. No, they're down. So we're just gonna put this box here. Just to mark anything that might come up. I didn't use any of the checklists. Um, Something needs to go here. All right, so that is it. So this is everything I still have left. I'm gonna go ahead and stick this in my book to use throughout the week as needed. I don't think I'll need any more of this. Do I wanna put a weekend sticker? No, I have that Blueberries Nights there, so I'm gonna leave that. And I'll just save these for either another spread or to use throughout the week, especially the, the deco I'll fill in as I go um, if I don't have anything to write down. And then I will go ahead and put the rest of that back. So this is my final spread for the last week of January. So let's go ahead and put it into my planner here. <clears throat> See what it looks like on the discs. Well, I appreciate you guys um, stopping by and watching and spending some time with me. If you guys haven't already, please like and subscribe down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye y'all.